Hello. Hey. Hello. Fucking house is brutal, isn't it? It's the only gig I've ever done where I've literally been heckled having a piss. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's like he, I was minding my own business. The bloke came out, he said something I've never heard before. He said, it looked like if Greta Thunberg went Box Park. Weird guy as well. He come out drinking a drink I've never seen before. Is it a can of jizz? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice callback, isn't it? Don't congratulate yourself. Come on. <laughs> it's weird doing it. When you do five minutes, right? Especially when you're a new comic, you get taught to do a couple of things. Like number one, you usually get taught to take the piss out of yourself, which obviously. Matey boy in the toilet's already done. So the other thing you always get taught is like take the piss out of the area you're in, right? So come on stage, talk about London, say it's a shit hole, right? Not gonna fucking do that, right? Wouldn't dare, right? Not because I think I'm better than that, it's the opposite actually, it's because I'm from fucking Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, which as you know, that makes me too half Indian, half Muslim. <laughs> going very well, isn't it? <laughs> Mashallah, motherfuckers. <laughs> this is great. Um, it's shit being a brummy, right? I'm going to level with you. It's shit. No one respects us, right? <laughs> I want two one. Yes, mate. That's, the, that's our dial code. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> just a bit of trivia, yeah, just in case. <laughs> don't know if any of you saw this. Brummies are not respected. I don't know if any of you saw this, but there's a very, very serious news, uh, on, news uh, website called The Mail Online, very reputable. They, uh, they ran out a poll of a thousand women, right? And they voted the Brummy accent to be the second least shaggable accent in the world. <laughs> That is a bad PR day for the people of Birmingham, isn't it? Right, it's a worse PR day when you find out that first on the list, the only accent in the world deemed more disgusting than the Brummie accent, right? The only accent deemed less shaggable than the Brummie accent was, and I quote, being a registered mute. <laughs> Any mutes in tonight? Give us a cheer. Sorry, that is shit. That is shit. That is proper shit. It's great in the article. It's a real article. Go and check it out, but give us a minute and a half. Um, it's a great article, right? And they, they interviewed, like, Brummy. They've interviewed a famous Brummy comedian to see what he thought. And inadvertently, there was the most beautiful piece of journalism I've ever read in my life, right? It just said at the end, the Mail Online reached out to a member of the mute community, but they declined to comment. <laughs> Third on the list, any guesses? Least shaggable accents in the world, any guesses? Scousers. Bang on, mate. <laughs> Fucking Scousers. I know, is it, any, any Scousers in? <laughs> that's just ad-lib, that, just ad-lib. Um, I don't think that's, I don't think that's controversial, is it, the Scouse? I think if everyone had a fiver, you'd probably put Scouse in your top five. No one amongst the thrusts of love wants to hear the voice of Scylla Black, do they? <laughs> Especially now she's dead. So just... <laughs> Got some necrophiles in. Hello, mate. <laughs> got, any, got any people aged between sort of 25 and 30? Sort of the X Factor category? Nice. It's, it's weird because I don't know if you can relate to this because I mean, when you get sort of 25 plus, you start thinking more, which is worrying, you know. And one thing I've realised, one thing I've noticed is that the older generation, sort of the real older generation, 75 plus, right? They, they like to punch down us and they like to send that we're snowflakes and we're sort of weak, we've got no backbone. You know? We're not what they used to be, right? Do you know what my 88 year old great aunt told me? She told me I wouldn't have lasted one day in World War II. And she's right. You're all looking at a man who shouts, yes, chef, and the microwave pings. <laughs> Oh, 
That was Harry Jenkins.